swear this shit is all I know Hope this knowledge go coast to coast Hey guys, it's Becca B. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I just wanted to share with you this new journey that I am embarking on. I am going to go ahead and start practicing my nail technique using acrylic. Um, the reason why I have started or have thought about just doing nails as like a second income or as a hobby is because, first of all, it is easy money and it is something that I am passionate about. I do enjoy having pretty nails, pretty hands, whatever. So I figured, why don't I just learn how to do it so that I can do my own nails and then, you know, eventually open up my own little space where I can provide people with consistent, good customer service and see where it goes from there. So first, the reason why I am going to start doing them from home or start teaching myself at home is because I applied for a nail tech program at one of our tech schools, but there is a waiting list. So I figured why not just start practicing on my own so that when I am there, it can be a breeze. And then really the only reason why I'm going is just to get my license so that I can actually start doing nails in an actual shop. And then the second reason why I decided to start doing this was because I used to get my nails done all the time. And I finally found this nail tech that did an amazing job. She had good prices, but once her clientele started building, she started raising her prices. And then the nail techs that she was hiring were just not doing that good of a job. And she was always booked. So I was always stuck with one of the other nail techs, which I did not enjoy. So I figured, let me just start doing my own little press on nails, which is what I have been doing for the last two years. Um, it's easier, it's cheaper, and it is a lot faster, so I've been enjoying that, but I feel like learning how to do nails or acrylic nails or gel nails is going to be a good investment just because I can turn it into a business. So yeah, that's why I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. And what else? I have a short little nail space tour for you guys. I was going to go ahead and just start doing it in my, my third room, which I consider my office. Um, but the monomer and stuff, the strong is just, I mean, the smell is just too strong. So I designated a small little area in my garage and that's where I'm going to start practicing. So go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I actually found this really nice nail table. Surprisingly, I found it at Goodwill. I only paid $14 for it. It has this rotating cart on the side. You can see it has wheels on it. And this side, I just keep my liquids. So nail polish remover, pure acetone, my nail dryer, and some monomer. And then right here, it has the compartments. And this does close, but I just keep it open. And it does lock as well. So in this bottom drawer here, I just keep this um, smaller practice hand. Of course, the little cuticle nipper, cuticle pusher, cuticle pusher, nail file, and then this nail tip cutter that I got at the nail supply store for $6. And then I just have these spare nail files that I bought a while ago at Walmart. Here I have glitters, and then a top coat and a base coat. Here I have my nail trainer hand um, practice tips. I have some nail tips some short press-on nails, and then the longer press-on nails. And I have these because this is actually what I started doing. I started doing my own nails and I felt like the press-ons would be a lot easier, a lot quicker to start doing on my own. So in this top drawer here, we have this cheap key file that I bought, because like I said, I am just starting out. It was $24.99 at Sally's. And you can see it comes with these, um, all these different nail bits. And then of course there's three different um, sanding drills. I don't know what those are called, but it's fine, medium, and then very coarse. And then this is it here. It uses two AA batteries. So far so good. One thing I don't like about it is that if you are filing at a weird angle when you're just learning, this mandrel will fall out so be careful if you're going to use this here i just have two more nail files an artisan nail file and then this nail buffer all right and 
in the next side, I have my Dappin' Dish, which I got at Sally's as well. I have some nail forms. And then I have four different acrylics. Um, I have clear, premium pink, white, and then pink, just plain pink. I have some super glue, some nail glue, and then these, um, there's a primer, or that's equalizer, and then the primer. And all of this stuff, the forms, primer, the acrylics, and then this brush all came in a pack, like a little starter kit from um, nailsuperstore.com. It was $60, and I just keep this paper towel back here just in case something spills. I don't know what would spill, but I guess the way I had it set up before I did this tour, I needed some safety, some precautionary measures. But yeah, all this came um, in a little uh, value pack. So that's it for the drawers. And here I have a glass full of cotton pads and cotton balls. And here I just have this little cup. These brush, well, this brush is my acrylic brush. It's very, um, it is good quality. It is very light. And then these two brushes I use for my nail designs. I use this for like cleaning up with nail polish remover. And then this one obviously just for nail designs. Which I only use those because I don't use them for makeup purposes. And I still need to go buy some brushes for nail art. So here I have my Miracuja oil for the cuticle area. Okay, here is my small little nail polish collection. As you can see, I like this blue color because it looks really good on my fingers. I have very dark fingers for some reason. Uh, but this is just nail polish that I've accumulated over the last um, few months. So it's nothing special, but it's mine. And I'm just starting out, so there's no biggie back up here there's my nail trainer hand and then my lamp the lamp is from the nail supply store that is in Oklahoma City and it is this one here I had to go back because the first one that I purchased actually didn't work so it was a little frustrating and then I lost my wallet the same the same day so yeah but yeah that's it uh, what else this chair I got from Salvation Army. It is an Ikea chair. And it only rotates easily when you're sitting in it. So it sounds a little janky now, but... And then to make it go up or down, you just have to sit in it and spin it around yourself. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is my beginning of my nail journey. I'm really excited. Um, so, yeah. That's it. All right, so I know that the supply I have is very minimal. I don't think that I need that much stuff right now just because I am only going to be working on my acrylic application technique. Um, once I start getting more uh, comfortable with that, then I will start practicing on designs and then that's when I'll start building you know, my, my space. I'll start building my product. I'll start building my merchandise and stuff like that. Um, and then once I do start nail tech school, I'll let you guys know and like keep you up to speed on that. <clears throat> but yeah, um, some advice that I have for embarking on something new, I would just say, just do it, just start. Um, because the longer you wait, the more time you're wasting, obviously. But if you're passionate about something, go ahead and just hop right into it. If you don't know where to start, YouTube is your best friend. Google will help you. You can ask people that you know that are either doing what you're wanting to do or something similar or just someone with some type of business knowledge i would just go ahead and reach out to them but yeah that's my word for you guys today just if you're if you're wanting to do something just do it that is the most simple piece of advice that i can give you and it's free i read a quote one time that said the reason why we are afraid to start something is because we don't want to be seen in the first steps you know when you first start something like you're not that good 
um like you need practice you just don't want people to see you just not where you want to be like you're not at your best you're afraid to let people see you not at your best but with time everything is better so whatever it is that you're passionate about that you're hesitant about starting or doing just do it and you will not regret it so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now also if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below also again my name is becca b and i hope to see you soon